Oh. I didn't notice you there. Well, since you're here, take a seat and let's talk some DevOps. The Oracle DevOps Cloud Service is an essential tool for any developer looking to implement CI-CD for their Oracle Cloud projects. You can use it to deploy applications to Oracle Container Engine for Kubernetes, to Oracle Functions, or to your compute instances. In today's introductory video, please join me to take a look at the basics of a DevOps project, how to create the policies and the dynamic groups in order to enable it to have access to your tenancy, and also look at the basic assets and creating a notifications topic. Let's take a look at the policies and the dynamic groups. If your cloud tenant has the new domains feature, you will find the dynamic groups under Identity and Security Domains, the default domain. Otherwise, they will be in Identity and Security Groups. A dynamic group is defined by the type of resource and its compartment ID. Dynamic groups will allow our resources to act like principles and be able to use other tenancy objects that are needed. In order to create the policies, we need to navigate to Identity and Security Policies and start typing up our policy or adding it to an existing one. How do you create a project? In order to publish, build and deployment notification messages, we need first to create a topic. And we just give it a name. And then we can move on to the project creation. In order to create a new project, we must first make sure it's in the right compartment. We then give it a name and optionally a description and we select the topic that we just created. After we create the project, we also need to enable logging as it is required to build and deploy pipelines. The project resources include code repositories, the build and deployment pipelines, the history, deployments, environments, artifacts, connections and triggers. And we will get into more of that in the next video. Well, that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me and tune in in the next one where we will look at the build pipelines and how to add the code repositories from which to pull your source code. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and let us know in the comments what you would like to see next. Now, if you would excuse me.